Welcome to Hackalade How To video. Today we're going to be talking to you about how you can define uh, composite key constraints inside the Hackalade data modeling environment. To do that, we're going to start with uh, taking a look at how you can create keys, primary keys inside your Hackalade environment. Well, let's say that I have a table right here, the membership period. Well, if I want to make the membership period ID the primary key of this table, then all I need to do is to go into the properties pane and check the checkbox. That's all I need to do. All you we will see right here that there's a visual indicator in the entity view, the table view of this data model. It says PK right there. And you will also m see that in the DDL script, it has now been added, right? There is a new const constraint, right? It's basically going to say that the a membership period table has a membership period ID property that is going to be its primary key. Right? That's as simple as it is, but um, that's not really what we wanted to talk about today. What we want to be talking about today is to see how we can actually create a different type of key for this particular table, which is not a single attribute primary key for this table, but we want to create a composite key. So with, I'm going to deselect and, and uh, undo the previous uh, selection of the primary key. Now I don't have any anymore. And I'm going to create a composite key by selecting the entity and then going back into the properties pane and selecting the composite keys tab in there. Here's where I can then say, okay, I have a combination of different properties that I can create a composite key with. Start with the musician ID property and additionally add the band ID property. Note that there's a sequence here and I am going to have to respect that sequence and, and add that into my composite key definition. You see now that I have again two properties, two attributes, two columns that are now marked as primary key for this particular table. Note that in the DDL script output, I now have the, uh, I have a composite key constraint now that has the musician ID and the band ID specifically added. Note that these um, composite pri primary key constraints appear out of line in the DDL output, right? Great, now I have that. How am I going to work with this and create foreign key relationships based on these composite keys, right? In a traditional foreign key, I would just be able to drag and drop that from one to the other, right? From one property to the other, but that's not what I want here, right? I want the, both the composite, composite key attributes to be included in the foreign key relationship uh, constraint. Right, so what I've done now is I've created this foreign key relationship, but I still need to manually go into the property pane here and add uh, another parent field, the band ID, as well as another child field, the band ID. Right? I also should uh, update the cardinality here right so that it now properly represents how those two tables are linked to one another using composite foreign key relationships right i hope that's clear and uh, you will also find again that the ddl script right has a uh, specific out of line uh, constraint added to the script which you can use in your forward engineering, for example. I hope this is clear. I hope you have learned how you can create these composite key constraints in uh, Hackalate and that this was useful for you and that you will uh, enjoy watching this video and sharing it with whomever may find it interesting. Thank you for watching and have a great day.